This is Shannon Deskins, and I am reporting from uh, behind the Applebee's, Arby's, McDonald's area in Pikeville off of Cassidy Boulevard. And I chose this vantage point to show you exactly how high the river is at this point. Uh, you can see across the river, US 23. So um, US 23 has got no, no threat at all as far as having um, the water get into the US 23. Um, however, it is close and people driving up and down the road can see that. So you've got the bridge on the other side of me that goes over uh, to Walmart. Of course, that's the intersection with US 119 uh, that goes up to Buckley's Creek. So we're probably these parking lots that we're in now, uh, if we continue to rise like it has been, uh, these will be underwater soon. Um, I just spoke with Ronald Kahn and he is the uh, chief of the Pikeville Fire Department and they are making preparations right now to close the first of the floodgates in Pikeville. As of five to ten minutes ago, the flood, the, the level of the river in Pikeville is at 37 feet, right at 37 feet. Now at 38 feet, things begin to happen. Things will go into motion and the first of those actions is going to be the fire department closing the floodgates right between Pikeville High School and the Lower Bowles Edition. So if you've traveled that road, uh, you're going to know exactly where we're talking about those floodgates. It's under the bridge, under the overpass, it's US 23. So uh, Chief Khan said within the next hour or maybe two hours, depending on how high this rise continues to happen, those floodgates will be closed. Now if you'll remember, I think it was three years ago, maybe four years ago, when we had a flooding threat, I think it was 2014, uh, remember it was snowing, we had all the ice dam troubles. That's the last time they closed those floodgates. Prior to that, it was 1984. So that's going to give you an idea of where we are in, in relation to where we've been uh, historically. We've not had the river to this level except a couple times in, in 20 years. So uh, we're continuing to watch this. We're right now in, in an area where the rain has stopped, but they're saying that rain is going to continue throughout the day. So. Uh, please monitor the stations, the radio stations, television stations, uh, the website, and I'm going to let you take a look at the river as I'm finishing. Uh, just make sure you monitor East Kentucky Broadcasting uh, to see, because as soon as we have any information, we're going to uh, bring that information to you. So we will probably be coming back live again. We've got other reporters out in other areas. I think we've got Letcher County, Floyd County, Johnson covered. So we're going to let you know what's going on. Uh, but when they do, if and when they do close those floodgates, in Pikeville. We'll be there. We'll let you know when that happens and how that actually happens because I, I think personally I think that's it's fascinating how all that stuff works. So stay tuned. Uh, flooding threat in Pikeville. Again we are past the flood stage. The flood stage in Pikeville technically is 35 feet. We're at 37. At 38 feet the fire department will start taking measures to close floodgates. So stay tuned. We're going to be out all day and we'll let you know all this information as it becomes available. Reporting from Pikeville I'm Shannon Deskins.